The Raid 2 is the sequel to the amazing The Raid Redemption. Arriving three years after the first, The Raid 2 amps up the story and the runtime, coming in almost one hour longer than its predecessor. Continuing shortly after the ending of the first, the main character Rama is quickly recruited by a severely underfunded police task force whose job it is to take down crooked cops. Three main crime bosses, one who killed Rama's brother, are encroaching on each other's territory and all pay off large amounts of cops. They send Rama to prison to get close to the son of one of the bosses. When Rama saves his life, they become friends and becomes part of the organization. There's also a subplot involving the boss and his son, who's angry he's not moving up the ranks fast enough. His father is suspicious he might be up to something to try and take over, telling Rama to let him know if he hears anything. Turns out the son is making moves, teaming up with one of the rivals to try triggering a war between the three factions, after which they'll get rid of his father, take over, and split the action. The story is much more involved compared to the previous movie. Sadly, Rama takes a back seat in his own movie, which ends up being more about the bad guys. Besides a couple scenes where Rama is phoning to check that his family is alright, you'll probably forget he was supposed to star in the movie. I completely forgot about him avenging his brother. Though it's 2 hours and 30 minutes, it wasn't boring, and I'm surprised I watched it all in one sitting. I wouldn't consider it a martial arts movie this time around, but more of an undercover police gangster thriller with some badly filmed action. A drastic shift of tone and feel from the Raid Redemption. Everything that movie was missing is here, including a more complicated story, longer character conversations, and more shaky cam. The fight scenes were a big letdown from the first movie. One of the best fighters is taken out in the very first scene by someone who can barely even walk. Not a great start if you're expecting a martial arts movie. The exhilaration and excitement wasn't there until a couple really good fights they saved for near the end. And though there are some really good camera shots and movements, it can't make up for how badly some of them were filmed overall. I swear in some fight scenes, the cameraman was intentionally shaking the camera when someone got hit, trying to make it more impactful, ultimately making it more annoying to watch. There's a muddy prison yard fight that had a couple good shots, filmed to look almost seamless, and thankfully fairly easy to follow. At the same time, it looks like a cluster of a mess. There's a lot more unimpressive, sloppy street fighting instead of martial arts this time around with people throwing chairs or other objects they can get their hands on, and wildly throwing people into walls or cars. There's a car chase sequence that's really good, with a couple jaw-dropping shots where I was getting Matrix Reloaded vibes. I have a beef with one scene where someone is shot and drops a gun. Rama bursts in, allowing him to get away, but he doesn't grab the gun. Rama gets knocked down near the gun, and he doesn't grab it either. Maybe things would have gone badly if he did, but it just looks weird sitting there the whole time. Overall, if you're coming into the Raid 2 expecting a martial arts spectacle, you may be disappointed. If you wanted a heavier story than the first, you're in luck. Just know, it's more about the bad guys, and the lead takes a back seat. I don't think it needed to be this big or involved to the point where the main character is hardly in it. Since the first was such a hit, Looks like they tried going all out for this one. Still, an interesting story that held my attention for the entire 2 hours and 30 minutes. 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Consider donating through PayPal, or buy me a cup of coffee so I can stay awake long enough to make these things. And of course, help a brother out by hitting like, or dislike, subscribing, and commenting, all that good stuff. And with that, Take care, and good night.